Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So as you know, we are doing our Active Home Center series. So today I'm going to be showing you um, all the things you will need for a dream kitchen, your appliances, also like some other household appliances like dryers, refrigerator, stove, washing machine. Also, I'll be showing you cabinetry and all the beautiful built-in range hoods, cooktop stoves, everything kitchen-wise and appliances from Active Home Center. So let's begin. All right, so firstly, I must tell you guys, I don't pay attention to like the name, the brand up top. As you can see, it doesn't correlate with the appliance under it. So here's the first refrigerator. So these are your more like starter refrigerators, right? Stainless steel, just your basic starter refrigerators here. All right, so yeah, as I said, don't pay attention to the brand that's hovering above. As you can see, just pay attention to the label on the actual refrigerator where the price is. So this one is by Frigidaire, right? This is 20 cubic feet, so pretty big. On the inside, you can see really large, nice starter refrigerator. It's stainless steel, but I could actually see how this is going to be like a little fingerprint magnet. So yeah. Yeah, just has your standard stuff, you know. Just your standard refrigerator. And then here at Active, you know, they're going for more like luxury home, modern home. So they have a lot of built-ins. So this is your built-in, you know, this would be like your built-in double oven situation, microwave and oven, all that good stuff. So you're gonna see a lot of that in this video. And this is just a smaller refrigerator. So yeah, this one is at 19.7 cubic feet. So it's just a little bit shorter than the other one, but still pretty deep. Alright, so what I did, I just focused on the really unique refrigerators. Um, some of them just basically were repetitions, just in different brands. So this one's from Frigidaire. Alright, as you know, it has your ice maker and your water dispenser and so on on the outside. Alright, double door fridge with also like that refrigerator section at the bottom. Really nice. And then this one did not have the handles like those external handles that you'd have to attach on. So I was thinking this was kind of a different vibe. It's more sleek. It's a Samsung refrigerator. It has your water dispenser on the outside. Right there you can get cubed ice, crushed ice, water. And then you open it from this little side piece carved out at the side. Didn't really like the inside of this one. Kind of give me a bulky kind of look. Yeah, especially that piece right there kind of looks a bit bulky, but you know, to each his own. And guys, remember, this is the second part in a three-part series. So the first part, we looked at the furniture. So once you finish watching this video, you can go check that out. And then we have the bathroom fixtures to come. And then after that, I will be showing you the couch that I got from Active. Yay! So stay tuned and ensure that you subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell. All right, so here we have some stoves, right? 
really nice stove. I really like this first one here. I like especially like the, the burners and the grill on top of the burner. Yeah. The second one and the ovens were really large tattoo trays. The second one, I don't like these type of burners. They're pretty easy to burn through. So I would stay away from that. And it's not as digital as the other one. So these are your cooktops. As you know, active, you know, it caters to more, you know, luxury. Okay. So they have the cooktops and these would be like built in to like your kitchen setup, you know. No stove. This have your built-ins right here and these are the electric ones so yeah prices just varied based on like the brand and how many burners so this is also like a built-in oven that you would have and this is a built-in gas cooktop so you know you guys can choose whatever your preference is if you're going with that ultra modern home this would be what you would get ultra luxury home this would be it so these are like your built-in ovens as i said and your built-in stove top cooktops And for the most luxurious persons among us, we have your wine cooler right here. This one was 89000 plus tax. You know, all these prices don't include tax. So, yeah. So then I wanted to show you guys, like, how these would look in the kitchen already, like, built in. So Active does have, like, these, to me, I call them the dream kitchen models, you know. So these are the prices for different parts and pieces so if you want to get this additional attachment here you could you understand like for that price but i'm going to show you a sheet of paper they had with that the rundown of everything on display so you guys just save it all right here's your dishwasher seventy nine thousand plus tax you know for that modern home And of course you have your range hood because what's a modern home without a range hood right and i think the ranges were affordable like we're looking into getting that too for the home that's a price for the faucet and here's that list that i was telling you about so you can go ahead and screenshot this this has the breakdown of everything all right guys so i'm just showing you like what the cabinetry looks like these weren't soft closing but they were nice nonetheless this is like a corner unit you know so you have no wasted space nice little corner cabinet and then they also had that this wine rack so basically, I, I liked how they did this. It just make it super easy for you to envision what you want and actually like pick out things that you want and you can get them all at the same place at Active right there. It works, like, it works. <laughs> so here's another range hood and stove setup. All right, nice cabinetry. So I'm just giving you a detailed look at what the backsplash looks like. And then the countertop, it was like that type of look that had like the sparkles or those glittery pieces in there. So if you're familiar with countertops, like yeah, it has that type of look. Right, and here is your double wall oven. 
I'm gonna show you guys what inside looks like. It has like three trays and there are your controls, different settings and all of that. So this would be built in pieces. All right, so here's another kitchen setup that they had. This one had, I believe this is called like quartz countertop, don't quote me. This very well could be something else, but I think it's quartz, all right? like. I'm new to all this thing, like in terms of like interior design and the actual like pieces in your home, like I'm still learning, which is a great thing because, you know, by the time I'm ready to get my house done, like I'll have the, the knowledge and I want that for you guys too, to get an idea of how much things cost, design of things and also. So this one is like a white, a glossy white. And then the bottom cabinets, it's two-tone cabinets. The bottom one's like a little coolish tone gray. Right, and I think it goes well. So here you guys can screenshot this and it will give you like the price and the details of everything. But don't you guys love that faucet that we just saw? And don't worry guys we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys like the washer and dryers in a second so this is the fourth dream kitchen setup and this one has a place where you can store like your dishes like a dish rack which is really cute so the backsplash is different also on this one it's like uh, I know this pattern what it's called but I'm completely forgetting while I'm doing this voiceover so you guys can screenshot this right here this is going to tell you the breakdown of the price for everything that you're seeing right here, which is really convenient. This is a white faucet here, really nice. And it has a dark wooden cabinetry. It's not super dark, it's like a medium, I'd say like a medium dark. <laughs> yeah, nice medium dark tone wood, really nice. And then along the countertop, you have like this lining with pieces from the backsplash, which was a nice little cute touch.
Here you have another dishwasher and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So you know you're building your ultra modern home, luxurious home, you're going to have a dishwasher. And this was out of stock though. But you know, they have other options. So yeah. So now we're going to look at like some washers and dryers. But first look at this commercial grade kitchen, it's like an industrial um, refrigerator. So it's good that they have this as well. So if you're in that field, you can check out Active. So here we're going to look at some washer and dryers. Alright, so this is a front loading dryer right here. And these pieces are like stackable. So you could get that stackable kit and this is the washer that goes with it. But as you know, you can buy them separate, you can buy them together and you can also buy that the stacking kit. Alright, so options options but i really liked these ones these one looks really sleek with the black and white so these ones are by samsung really nice front loading washer and dryer here yeah so if you definitely want the sleek look i would go for these ones it's just gonna cost you a little bit more <laughs> But then again, Samsung is a good brand. So persons, if you're looking for like reliable, you know, you'd go with Samsung. And then these ones are like top loading washers. All right, so your Whirlpool. And Whirlpool is a great brand too. I've had like a Whirlpool dryer for years. So yeah, Whirlpool is good. And if you're going front loading, I just don't like this one with the little handle thing right here. I much prefer the front loading ones like what we just saw by Samsung right and then this one was actually a gas dryer right so this one is gas and then they give you some benefits of a gas dryer so it has a faster drying time reduces wrinkles more cost efficient and it uses less energy to dry clothes so that's something to note all right, so just looking at some more fridge that I kind of missed out. This one, again, it doesn't have that, that handle that would be extended on the outside. It's kind of like built in, pocketed into the sides. You do have like your controls there on the outside where you can see like the temperature of like the refrigerator, the freezer and so on. So this is how this one opens. Pretty sleek design. I was having trouble <laughs> figuring out where does this open, but it's right there on the bottom. So all the little handles are just right there along that line, that break. Tell me in the comments down below, guys, do you like this? Would this be a refrigerator you would get? Pretty different. Hmm. Alright, guys, so that wraps up this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We have one more video coming in this three-part series you can't afford to miss. So bye guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs>